Hi, Brent Tech here. We're Tech is Made Simple. Yet another day and another Windows 11 update checker is doing the rounds. And the latest uh, update checker to uh, see if you are compatible to that Windows 11 free upgrade from Windows 10 to 11 if your uh, PC meets the minimum hardware and system requirements is Ready Sun Valley version 0.11.9 and this is once again over on GitHub and it's been updated five hours ago and as always just to download it you just click on the download link and it will then download as a zip file which you just extract and then it just pops the app in a standalone uh, uh, app it's not installed onto your system now when you open ready sun valley you will obviously get the your at your first launch you will obviously get the uh, windows 10 smart screen just ignore that as usual and run the app and on your first uh, uh, launch it'll take a bit of time i've run it a couple of times so it'll go a little bit faster now your Windows 11 compatibility results and here we can see if you hover over your CPU meets the software requirements it's just not listed on the official list of supported processes so this actually I featured now four update compatibility checker apps um, if for, you know to upgrade from Windows 10 to 11 and this is the first one I found where if I hover over it, it actually tells me your CPU meets the software requirements. It's just not listed on the official list, which is good to know. And then it's also the first one out of the four that has told me that my secure boot is off. And that's the reason my secure boot is off is because I dual boot this machine with Linux. And the secure boot, when it was enabled, was causing a bit of a problem on the Linux side. So I have turned that off. And then obviously the other one is TPM version not present. And I know this and all of the um, all of the apps I featured have told me that TPM is not present on this device. Now another little interesting thing. If we go to the top right to the menu, you can repeat the check. And then you can take a screenshot. You can compare results. And another um, app found over on GitHub is Why Not Win 11, which I've also featured. And it says, do you want to compare these, re these results with the utility? And obviously, if you do, you just click yes. And then here's an interesting one. There's a f uh, this was actually added today. Bypass TPM secure boot restriction. Now, there's been a lot of registry changes and hacks doing the rounds on, in, you know, on the Internet about you bypassing the TPM secure boot restrictions to be able to upgrade to Windows 11. Now, this to me looks like if you click this, it says TPM and secure boot restriction has been bypassed, which means this has changed my registry automatic or that's how I am interpreting it. I cannot see any official documentation telling me this in the actual app over at GitHub. It just says added option to bypass TPM secure boot restric restrictions. The settings made can also be reverted at any time. And that's what I'm demonstrating at the moment. So this looks like, and obviously time will tell, that if you, uh, uh, you obviously enable that option, it changes your registry automatically to bypass the TPM secure boot restriction. So I suppose with that setting, only time will tell. And uh, um, as I say, I'm open to correction, but that's how I'm interpreting it on this app. And then if you want to undo the bypass, you just click on undo and it says system settings are in place again. So I think that's quite handy. But as I say, I don't know if this has been a little bit optimistic, but time will tell if this actually works. And then you even have the option here, does your hardware qualify for Windows 11 and you can actually vote. So. As I mentioned earlier, this one actually tells me in depth why my CPU does not meet those requirements. And this, this is the first one to tell me that my secure boot is actually disabled. So once again, go check this out for yourself. And this is now the fourth uh, compatibility checker I've featured on this channel. And I actually think this is quite handy. It does give you a lot of in-depth information, but go check it out for yourself. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one.